Welcome everybody to Dollar Sweet Look Tactics. This is going to be the first uh, video in a series of videos highlighting all of the characters in Eternal Evolution. Um, we're going to start off with Randall. Now, Randall's the assassin. We all know him. The game is going to give him to you early, and as such, I got him up to Immortal, and I feel like I've kind of figured out how I should be playing him, and I'm going to pass on that information that I've learned to you so you can build yours the same way to get the same effects and to stabby stab stab. So... Let's dive right into Randall. And here he is, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Randall, a.k.a. the Phantom Assassin. So this is the pay to win account. As you see, he is my highest power, highest tier champion. Let's dive right in. Now, Randall is a Terran uh, assassin. Uh, there's, uh, what, three assassins in the game, Not a, maybe more than three, but there's the uh, the lizard dude, don't know what he's called, and then there's Bailey, who is, uh, you know, he's got the Sith lightsaber, he is hands down the uh, best assassin in the game, he makes Randall look like dog poop, but um, a lot of you, or the majority of you, the vast majority of you are not going to have uh, Bailey anytime soon, so Randall will fill in that gap uh, quite nicely. I really, really enjoy Randall. So we're gonna run through him really quick, and then I'm gonna highlight um, some s campaign, some story mode battles. Uh, maybe we'll try a soul mine. So uh, first of all, we kind of have to describe his talents. I know um, it's boring, I'm not gonna read them all. Basically all four talents revolve around creating shadows and his attacks are based off of his attack. As you see right here, uh, summons a shadow, blah, blah, blah. Each shadow causes 252% damage and each level two, three, four increases the damage based on a percentage of his attack. So he is going to be an all attack character even though his gear recommendations say otherwise. Uh, this one, again, damage based on attack. I'm not going to go into what he does. He just summons copies of himself, bounces between himself and the copies, and he does stabby stabby stabs. Uh, summons a shadow that can blah, 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 goes to the furthest enemy, and then he's going to swap places, and he's going to do more damage. Uh, this one, he's actually going to uh, use energy to... Is this the one? Yes, it is. Um... If an attack damages Randall by 20% of his max HP, he will consume energy to nullify that attack and the effect is triggered two times in a row. Or if, and after the effect is triggered two times in a row, it cannot be triggered again, basically. Uh, damage immunity, uh, and as you see, it scales down. So he will trigger that damage immunity as this skill levels up at a lower percentage of health lost. And then the last one, again, damage based on attack. I'm not gonna read it, you guys can read it yourselves. Basically, all of his skills basically point you to making uh, or gearing him for attack. But Randall's really squishy. So now I'm going to go into my gear. Well, actually, maybe first let's go through the talents. So these are the talents, as you see. Get all of the uh, the majors, right? Get all of the, the, the talents, all the big boys. Um, as you can see, you want to get the attack ones. So I do have all three of these, which adds 11% attack. This one, 5.6% attack, and I would upgrade this further. In fact, I'm going to, because 20 more of these, I'm trying to keep a, bit, a bunch of these for Crete, um, but uh, I will use 20, that's not too bad. And as you see, I've avoided the health, the defense, the crit damage, which, you know, down the road is nice, but right now you don't need it. And then defense and health. So just, I skipped the, the, uh, the defensive ones because it's expensive. And instead, we're gonna go into the gear and you'll see where I make up that health. So Randall, I was pushing, 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 and eventually I hit a wall where he would like port back to the back wall where the characters were, or the enemies were, and he would die. He was really squishy. So I had to change how I built my Randall, but once I did that, man oh man, he even shined even more. So as you see right now, my Randall has uh, two attack sets, two two-piece attack sets. He does have some legendary gear, uh, but then he's got some overload as well. And overload is an increased crit damage. And uh, preferably, as you see, my crit rate is really low, 5.4%. He's not gonna be critting too often. So this crit damage is kind of wasted. Ideally, I would want these 
overload pieces to be attack pieces but i'm using them because yes he will crit sometimes and more so the stats on them so my hands lovely 50 percent attack boom some crit damage the hp is nice for randall the defense does nothing and the resist really does nothing but it's a 50 percent attack uh a attack attack glove so this is perfect for him uh the sword it's uh it's got two time two rolls of secondary attack for 8.8 percent and of course it's got the attack primary the feet and now here's where we get into the, uh, the what you should maybe do if you're finding the your angle is squishy as well both these pieces have hp primaries my headpiece has an attack percent uh secondary as well as the crit damage and my boots have uh three rolls of attack these are nice boots um, some damage reduction and some more extra attack and then but it is fifth the primaries are health percentage as soon as I added these health percentage primary pieces he didn't die he no longer died he stayed on the field long enough the heals would overcome the damage incoming and then this last piece isn't any really anything to worry about it, it's it's you know it's got the HP uh, primary like every other pant piece does but it does have two rolls of attack and some crit rate and crit damage so this is a nice piece so yes you want some attack, go for some on the gloves, but then the head and the boots, I would really recommend HP primaries, and then where you can, go for HP and uh, crit and attack secondaries. All right, so that's the Randall. Um, he he definitely puts out, and I wanna show, kinda highlight this here by doing a story mode. As you can see, I was stuck at 2216 i'm currently at 2235 i was stuck at 2216 could not overcome it i the one thing i did is i switched up his uh head and his uh legs or boots boots to give hp primaries and all of a sudden boom he didn't come anywhere close to dying instead he just stabby stab stab stabs more stabby more stabby so let's run through um one of these you see they're well, well out of my range. One million is, is the power versus my 674. Now, keep in mind too, I am running uh, Gautier. Gautier uh, pairs very, very nicely with Randall because every time Randall ports or jumps around or shadow steps, I guess, to use a WoW reference, he will gain a shield based on that HP. So that increased HP means a bigger shield, means more survivability. Um, my Gautier, just full disclosure, he is giving Randall's ultimate a plus two. So, you know, you're not all, not everyone's going to have that, but that's that's what mine's bringing to the, bringing to the fore. Um, uh, I love this this Gautier because uh, the Vanguards get four percent defense, which is nice for Artis. Uh, it's going to be really nice for Crete too when I finally get him. Uh, it's going to give a little bit more attack to artists, but then in the middle, it's going to give a flat 550 attack both to my damage dealers, which is why you see my damage dealers, Taylor and Randall, in the middle. So keep in mind, when you guys are building yours, uh, look for a Gautier, build up a Gautier. I would recommend upgrading your reds uh, up to 25 to see what uh, you can get to benefit you. See, like this one, it's nice because the middle gets crit chance and then it gives hunters extra attack, but... He's not giving uh, Randall that extra plus two. So enough of that. Let's run through my artifacts really quick. So this one, I like this prying eyes. It gives um, attack, uh, increased attack by 12% for six seconds after they crit with a basic attack. Very, very nice for Randall. Uh, this purely for artists. This is uh, an expensive piece. I bought it at Black Friday. You're, you're probably not going to have this, uh, but... Um, this is this is more so for artists and a tank video that I should make upcoming. Doesn't do anything for Randall. And then this, obviously, it is uh, four gemmed. Uh, I love this one because it increases uh, healing by twenty two percent, which which is big. And then it buffs up that healing if uh, the healed unit is lower than thirty percent. So even though this is a uh, purple, I really really like this one more so than my one. Uh, gemmed flashpoint because I find, find that at these high levels I'm not getting any overhealing I'm just doing everything I can to keep them up and alive and stabby stabbing so enough talky talky let's show you exactly 
what Randall's gonna do. So I'm gonna leave the damage meter up as you see. Yeah, Taylor comes out of the gate, but, but very quickly, uh, Randall is going to uh, clearly surpass Taylor in the damage meter. There you see Randall has his shield, which is based on his HP. He hasn't taken any damage. Uh, ooh, it looks like I actually lost my artist. So maybe I'm not gonna be able to pass this because now, eh, maybe. We'll see if Randall uh, can can cover this. So you see he's, he's half dead. Uh, they're focusing all their attacks on him. He's trying there, he's got his heal, his shield, but I think he is gonna go down unless he can really start killing some of these guys, which he is. Look at Randall is tanking. My Randall, the assassin, just tanked out what four enemies that was a perfect showcase of why you should build him hp not only did he benefit from the gautier uh, displacement shield but with paired with two healers mwah, mwah, love it i think artist went down halfway through that and randall still tanked it out like a champion um i think that's all we really need to show you uh this was my deep dive on randall if you guys liked these kind of videos put peppermint <laughs> put the word peppermint down in the comments and i will pump them out for you uh till the cows come home all right guys okay cheers peace till next time everybody bye bye